search all this might be a bad idea but we're going to do it anyway basically it's a series of gothic poems um i've got some ghost stories but they seem a bit long so i might just uh cherry pick through those uh, bad boys uh and we'll just do it all sexy and stuff and just see how it goes is that okay the yeah, problem yeah. is stuff with nightmares and you'll see people walk in they'll be like ah, and they'll just walk straight back out if that's the case that's fine i'm very i'm sorry you guys at the bar but he asked me to do this okay it's just poetry and noise that's all you'll get okay not even as good as hip hop, right? It's a good David, you're so full of nonsense, man. Yeah? So full of nonsense. It's been some months. Just do it, so, Okay. We're going to be wild, we're going to be wild Right. <laughs> Which one do you want first? I like, there's this one. I got this from a charity shop uh, the other day. I tried to hug him down and I realised that's really cruel. So I, <laughs> I paid full price in the end. I only wanted two poems out of it. I thought that's uh, that's fine. Well, I'll remember how to rip off cherry shops the next time. Thanks to your advice. Right, should we start? This one's called The Hag. Uh, it's by Robert Herrick. Could tell you a bit about him, uh, but I didn't bother researching, so. I can just pretend he's from Hertfordshire. He's son of a farmer. Is that okay? It's not true. The Hag is astride. The sniper to ride. The devil and she together. Of the volcanoes and their mountain torch, a beautiful hope is all the world contained. 
Forest is set on fire, but hour by hour, they found the failings, and the cracking trunks extinguished with a crash, and all was black. The brows of men by the despairing light wore an unearthly aspect as by this. The flash upon them, some lay down, and hid their eyes and weapons, some did nest. Their chests upon clenched hands and smiled, and others hurried to and fro and fed. Their funeral pyres with fuel, fuel and looked up, with mad disquiet on the dull sky, the power of the past world, and then again, with curses cast down them upon them in the dust, and gnashed their teeth and howled, and the wind birds shrieked, and terrified the front of the ground, and flapped their useless wings. The wildest brutes came tame and tremulous, and vipers crawled, and twin themselves with the multitude, hissing but stingless. They were slain for food, and war for which your mama was no more, to glut himself again, a meal with war, with blood, and ate sullenly apart, gorging himself in blue with no one left, and all earth was one floor, and that was death. Glorious of the pine, the famine fed upon the entrails. Men died, their bones and tumors of their flesh, their meagre by meagre were defiant. The dogs were sealed with their masters, all save one, and it was painful to the claws and kept. The birds and the beasts famished men and fear, till hunger could not come them, or the dropping dead. Who had their lank jaws, themselves so out of food, who were the pietists of a perpetual morn, and a quick desolate cry lick in the hand, which answered not with a caress, he died. The crown was punished by degrees, but two of an enormous seed did survive, and they were enemies, they met beside the dying embers of an old place, which had been on a mass of holy things, from a holy use to take raked up, and children scraping their cold skeleton hands, the feeble lashes and the feeble breath, moved for another life, but then made a flare, which was a mockery, then lifted up, their eyes as it grew lighter and beheld each other as the aspect saw and shrieked to die, each of the mutual hideousness they died, or knowing who she was through the brow, famine had reached frame, the world was void, the populace and the palatals of love, seasonless, herbless, treeless, madness, lifeless, a loop of death, a chaos of hard clay, the rivers, the lakes, the oceans all stood still, and nothing stirred within their silent death. Ships sailed by right on the sea, and the mass fell down, pierced me as they all dropped, and slept on the beach without the surge. The waves that were dead, the tides were in their graves, the moon and the mistress of these fire before, the winds that twinned and the stagnant and the stir, and the clouds perished, dark had no needs, remained from all of them. Tape of that one in the background, it's really, really hard, uh, literally. Right. Um, 